Hey, it's Soleil, and this is episode 157 of the Orange Pill Investor. And today I want to talk about how dumb a lot of financial advice is, particularly the TradFi advice. And I saw one post, and it was like, you know, if you have to borrow, you can't afford it. And that probably makes sense when it comes to spending. But let the example that I gave was like... Uh, you want a small business loan. And if you spend $12,000, right? You borrow 12 grand and you could and the and the monthly payment on that's like I think it's like 189. If you can increase your profits by that much a week, then you'd be basically tripling that return. So you're spending 190 bucks a month, but if you're making 190 a week, you pay for the loan the first week, and then you book profits in week two, three, and four. And the reason why I gave that exact example, like I didn't just pull $12,000 out of my ass. The reason I gave those specific numbers is because I paid off my my SUV last year, and I was like, you know, it was a $400 a month car payment. I was, I was glad to get free of it. And it just feels good not having a car payment. However, if I go and get a collateral loan and I borrow 12 grand, 84 months at 8.24%, which is right off their website, the monthly payment is $189. Now, if I'm going to just go on a spending spree at the mall, then that's dumb. I'll grant you that. But what could I do with 12 grand? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could buy 600 shares of Mara. That would cost $11,760 in a cash account. Uh, this is a margin account, so, so technically it wouldn't even cost me twelve grand. But, you know, do as I say, not as I do. And not financial advice anyway, so I'm not telling you to do shit. However, I'm going to do this. And let's say I bought 600 shares of Mara. Then what could I sell covered calls at? Well, my normal procedure would be to go to around 10% call away value. Now that would be the 2150 calls, but I can't quite pay for that in one week. But if I sold six calls, and let's see, the mid price is 37, three times six is 180. So, well, this is like 200 bucks a week right here. This is very conservative. This is very easy to get. This is almost 2% a week. So I can sell a covered call against Mara four times a, a month, pay for the loan in week one, and then I can just book $600 profit. So I, I can take a loan, and 8% is not even that great. Like People are scared to buy cars now at 8%, and I'm not saying... I'm not saying you should just go out and buy a car if you don't need a car, but but paying cash for a car is just dumb. Like, I would have to take, if I was going to pay cash for that car, if I didn't own it and I needed it, and I'm like, oh, I got twelve grand, I can go pay cash for it. Well, why would I do that? That's $12,000 less in my portfolio, which means now I can't make $800 a month off that 12 grand. So I would just finance it. And and that's being like <laughs> that's being really conservative with it. I mean if I wanted to sell at the money, I can get four percent. So six of these bad boys would be four hundred and eighty dollars a week. That's two car payments in one week off of off of twelve grand. 
480 a week. Might as well just say 500 times four. That's two grand a month. In six months, if I took all of this money and paid <laughs> and paid the loan off early, I could pay the loan off in six months. Now I have 600. Now I have 12,000 dollars worth of Mara. And I can go borrow the twelve grand back on the car again, and just <laughs> and just repeat, rinse and repeat. Now, that's that's like you know best case scenario. Now Mara can do all kinds of weird shit. So Mara in October was seven, so it could go to seven again. But. Even if, if Mara dropped in half, it really, since I'm tripling my money, Mara could actually drop to $500 a share, or excuse me, $5 a share. And if I've got, you know, 12 grand, my, my 12 grand value drops to three, and I get 2% a week, which is pretty easy to get, it's pretty conservative. 2% of 3000 would be 60 bucks a week times 4 is 240. So worst case scenario, I mean worst case scenario is Margo's a zero, but I'm going to say pretty pretty worst case scenario, reasonable scenario is Mara drops to 500 a share. Excuse me, $5 a share. And I could still make the car payment. And and actually and profit like two bucks. And really, if I um, if I did the greedy part and got four percent a week at five dollars a share, you know, four percent of three grand would be one hundred and twenty a week. So I could still double my money every month, even if the price of Mara collapses seventy five percent. As long as these option prices hold up. And if Mara did collapse to that low, I could probably get more than more than two, three, four percent. So all the TradFi advice was right at one time, but it's all wrong now. I don't know if it's the 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 hyperinflation that we're starting to see or just the money printing by the Fed, but there's something wrong with the financial system and the passive investing doesn't work, the dividends doesn't work, index funds don't work, paying off your debt doesn't work, diversification is doesn't work. Like investing in the spy or the VU, there's like seven decent companies that make all the money and 493 losers. So if you're if you call yourself an investor and you have seven winning trades and 493 losers, like that's that's a pretty that's a pretty bad win loss rate. Like that's a that's an F. <laughs> you you get an F. You get to repeat the class. You get to take summer school and 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 take the class over again. So uh I'm not saying you should do this, but I'm definitely looking real hard at it. I can't wait to have a conversation with the wife when I say I wanna I wanna put the I wanna put the car in hock and uh and borrow against it. Hell, I'm even, I've even got like a two thousand and seven I'm looking at. I'm like, even if that damn thing's only worth two grand, the car note on two grand would probably be like fifty bucks a month or something stupid. And 1% a week would be $80 a month. I, I might just, I might be put hawking all, all of it. Anybody got any beaters they want to um, sell me for cheap? I'll just start a friggin' used car lot out front, making money, borrowing against cars I towed out of the junkyard. All right, um, I'm going to leave it there. I think I think I said everything I wanted to say about that. But um, yeah, 
TradFi, get your shit together. All right, be good, y'all.